Dora's off on an all-new star-studded adventure. Ah! Swiper stole Dora's favorite necklace. You'll never find your necklace. <laughs> now it's at the top of Star Mountain, and there's only one way to get it back. Let's call the Explorer Stars. Can Dora and Boots make it past the bubbling green goo, over the giant snowball, and all the way up Star Mountain? We can do it! A new episode of Dora the Explorer kicks off Dora's Superstar Week. Monday at 9 on Nick Jr. a poem about the way a metropolis makes music and melodies. In other words, a city symphony. Now, before I begin, picture a city. A busy, bustling, big city with traffic, tall buildings, and lots of people moving to and fro on the sidewalks. Can you picture it? Great! Here goes. Tell me. Have you heard the City Symphony? It's a wonderful orchestra that's never off key. Listen, people talking and children walking. Stereos go bada bada, boom, boom, boom. Trucks rattle and clang and go vroom, vroom, vroom. You can hear fire engines blaring and feisty dogs barking, kids yelling and a man bellowing, hey, there's no parking. There's salsa music blasting from the window of that car, while the man on the corner strums, strums, strums a guitar. Babies scream, trucks selling ice cream. They go doot, diddly doot. And when traffic jams, you're sure to hear an awfully loud toot, 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 toot. Next time you walk down the sidewalk of any city street, feel the city's rhythm, the movement, the soul, the beat. I love the symphony, the sounds and songs of the city. It may be just noisy to some, but to me, it's sure pretty. And that's right, Z, the end. Those were spectacular city noises. Say, what kind of noises do you hear in your neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> 